Hello and welcome to Evo India and welcome back to our Aikma coverage. We're talking Honda who have finally showcased more of the V3 concept that it first showcased last year at the 2024 Aikma. This time around the engine is actually in a motorcycle and it's called the V3R 900 e-compressor concept. Now that e-compressor in the name is where things get really interesting. Now the V3 engine it sounds quite interesting and Honda has already done a V5 engine for MotoGP so you can trust them to make something just as interesting that will actually go into production at least that's what honda is saying very very soon now the e-compressor like i was saying that is where things get very very interesting because it essentially functions like a supercharger but not in the way that you would expect a traditional supercharger is actuated by the moving of the crankshaft in the engine but over here it's electronically actuated and it can come on whenever required to fill in a gap of power now honda tells us that this will have a very potent low end mid range and top end because of that e-compressor now this is a 900cc V3 but because of that technology Honda says that the performance will be equivalent to a naturally aspirated 1200cc motorcycle. Again this is very much in concept stage right now but Honda is very serious about getting in this into production quite soon. Now what format of motorcycle that will come up in remains to be seen. As of right now it's in a naked bike with all the naked bike styling cues but again down the line whenever Honda is ready to put into production I assume that they will be putting it in multiple platforms and multiple different styles of motorcycles so again something that we're very very excited to see how it pans out and ride as well next up honda has also finally announced all the details about the wn7 electric motorcycle the very first electric motorcycle from honda now this is a very stylish looking motorcycle looks very futuristic but also very much something that could exist on our roads today now with this they are using something that's called a frameless design so essentially instead of having a regular frame or a tubular chassis that will hold all the components of the motorcycle together you have the front steering column and the swing arm at the rear mounted right onto the battery casing which is an aluminum battery casing so this has allowed Honda to keep weight in check and also keep the bike accessible in terms of size narrow so that even shorter riders can get on it now in terms of weight this does weigh 217 kilos so that is a fair bit it's around the weight of an ultraviolet F77 give or take a few kilos but this also does pack in more performance because that motor is capable of 67 bhp of peak power and around 24.1 bhp of nominal power along with a 100 newton meters of torque now motor is mated to a 9.3 kilowatt hour battery pack that is good for 140 kilometers of range on the WMTC cycle so that is significantly lesser than the ultraviolet 323 what the real world range is like remains to be seen in terms of charging it does support ccs2 fast charging so it can take it from 20 to 80 percent with fast charging in roughly 30 minutes and a full charge from 0 to 100 will be done in 2.4 hours now in terms of the chassis components you get showa upside down forks these are 43 mm in diameter and non-adjustable and you also have a showa monoshock at the rear you will also get a whole suite of electronics different ride modes imu based riding aids like traction control and abs you will also have a wet mode now this will also have multiple regen modes and deceleration modes so that should aid in getting some of the juice back all of this is controlled via the five inch instrument cluster and switch gear on the left side do you want this to come to india what would you expect it to be priced at let us know in the comment section down below but what i can say is that both this production motorcycle and the concept from honda are really exciting and we can't wait to get our hands on them